Hey everyone, you're listening to the I Heart Guitar Podcast, and we've got a special guest today, uh, Christian Martucci from Stone Sour and Black Star Riders. Um, This is a very special episode because Christian is on a mission. Christian, take it away. How you doing, man? (laughs) Really good, really good. Um, Thanks thanks for having me on here. Um, Basically, I'm looking for, uh, for my childhood guitar that went missing in New York City um, in the mid-90s. And I've been looking for it for, man, you know, 25 years now. I've exhausted every resource. I've done eBay. I've done Reverb. I mean, for years and years and years, Craigslist. I mean, I actually sat about four nights ago. I sat up for about four hours looking at every photo that was tagged of a BC Rich guitar <laughs> on Instagram trying to find it. So I'm, I'm pretty obsessed with, with trying to get this thing. Yeah. Um, I remember you mentioning this guitar a little while ago. Didn't um, Corey give you a guitar that was like similar to this? Yeah. I mean, I have a, um, okay, so I have a 1978 uh, BC Rich Mockingbird. Mm-hmm. And, um, the, uh, you know, I, I told Corey the story about the guitar and all that stuff. And he actually gave me, uh, a matching same exact guitar for, uh, for Christmas Aww. a couple of years ago, which was a really, uh, really amazing gift. And, and, you know, both of these, it, I mean, I don't think people realize that when you have that sort of one special guitar, it's kind of a part of you, Mm. you know? And, um, you know, it's, uh, when you lose something like that, it's, it's, it's pretty devastating. I mean, especially, I mean, you know, to make, to try to make a long story short, you know, um, that guitar was, um, in the late eighties, early nineties when I, when I got it, it was, it was a, pretty cheap guitar Mm. um they were completely out of favor and it was six hundred dollars which sounds like you know not a lot of money but in in my house we did not have any money so uh he worked like three jobs to come up with the money to pay for this thing Mm. and then about a year later or a couple of years later slash used one on the you could be mine video and then those those vintage BC riches just started skyrocketing, mm. and um, you know it took it took me years to be able to afford a, you know a legitimate one from a, you know <laughs> way back. But um, uh, you know, so um, fast forward, I, I I was in New York City. I lived with my girlfriend at the time I was only 15 or 16 years old uh, kind of living on my own <laughs> and uh, uh, when I moved out of the house <clears throat> I left the guitar there she wouldn't give it back to me <laughs> oh. and uh, sadly she uh, she got married moved to uh, North Carolina and actually died in a motorcycle accident yeah and um uh, I tried to, you know, I tried to contact some mutual friends and stuff, you know, not to sound insensitive, but I just wanted to see if they even knew where this thing was, mm. you know, and nobody has any information about it. And, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm on a mission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty sad story. I'm not trying to bum everybody out, but mm. I mean, that's, that's pretty much what happened. And, um, I just, uh, I don't know, man, somebody's got it out there. And if I, if I couldn't find it on, on eBay or anything like that, after years and years of searching, um, I just, I, I kind of took it to social media today because I'm like, well, you know, there's a lot of followers on here and stuff like that, you know, maybe, you know, there's a very long shot that somebody might know somebody. But it's it's, it's a pretty rare it, it's a pretty rare guitar. Mm. You know, I think it's a I think it's a eighty eighty three or eighty four. But it's it's one of the USA handmade uh, Bernie Ricos. Mm-hmm. It's got some. Um, it has some. Uh, 
some pretty unique features. Like you know, it has a, it has one black Seymour uh, Duncan pickup in the bridge, and it has the original DiMarzio PAF in the neck. Mm-hmm. Um, the most most vintage Mockingbirds, as, as I'm sure you know, have a have these uh, either maple or rosewood stringers mm-hmm. where the uh, the neck goes through the body, and this one doesn't. So it's I, I've never seen another one like it. I've mm. I've, I've, I've been looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, basically anybody that can provide um, whatever info that actually leads to me getting this guitar back um there's there's a, a nice reward in it for you <laughs> mm-hmm. if you can uh, if you can make that happen yeah. <laughs> and you know even all these years later i mean it's like you know um they're not guitars that i would like take out on the road or play live or whatever it's just it's a it's a personal thing that i just you know i just really want the guitar back it's the guitar that i sort of really learned how to play on and all of that kind of stuff plus you know it's uh it, you know my dad went through a lot to get that thing yeah. so he was understandably pretty pissed off at me when uh when this all went down yeah. you know? um, and also so, i mean i don't know also i mean you've come so far in your career since then you know obviously that like i'm i'm sure you're kind of looking back and it's it's a really cool connection to who you were then. And it's almost like a tribute to that kid that you were, that you should get that guitar back yeah. now and be able to appreciate it now as a dude who's in two pretty damn successful bands. Yeah. I mean, well, um, you know, it's just one of those things. I mean, you know, without going into this whole soft story, you know, it's like when I was a kid, we, really I mean you know we really didn't have much at all you know I mean there were times when you know the electricity would get shut off and stuff like that but Mm. I I really didn't have any friends all I did was sit in my bedroom and you know this apartment or a trailer park or wherever we were living at the time and Mm. I just shut the doors and I, I would sit in there for I mean just hours and hours every day uh just playing this thing Mm. and uh you know i just i was i was 16 when i when i ended up losing the guitar and i just kind of chalk it up to being a irresponsible kid Mm. (laughs) at the time yeah like like you are when you're 16 yeah and uh man i just i've 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 gone through hell and back trying to find this thing yeah. It's it's crazy. Mm. Well, hopefully this <laughs> will mean, help, and you know this social media campaign you're doing to kind of yeah put the word out. You know, I'd love to see you with this guitar again. That would be so cool because I want to see you recreate the photo. Um, for those who haven't seen it yet, there's a photo on Christian's Instagram, Instagram, and I've shared it on the I Heart Guitar stuff um, of you as as a kid with the guitar. I want to see you again with the guitar in that pose today. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, I I would love nothing more than to see that see that too. You mm-hmm. know, it's a it's a really important guitar to me, and uh, I just even all these years later, and you know, all the touring, all the whatever, and you know, even you know, getting to the point where I have a signature guitar now or something, and all of that stuff. It's like it's like it's just something that I haven't been able to to let go of. Mm. You know, yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I really appreciate it. I mean, whoever has it, if you're out there, um, no questions asked. I will, I will pay you for the guitar. Um, you know, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever I need to do to get the thing back. Yeah. So if anyone out there happens to know where it is or have a lead, um, how do they contact you? Um, probably the the best way I would say would would just send me a message on Instagram. Mm-hmm. That's that's the easiest way because yep. that's where I that's where I put it up and that's where most of the followers are and stuff. And I, I'm I'm just gonna be checking it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, minute by minute. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, 
and if anyone... see what happens. I mean, it's a it's it's a long shot, you know. But I mean, on the on the bright side, you know, it's not like it's um, you know, it's it's not like a a Strat or a Les Paul or something where it's like there's so many identical ones, and it's you know, it would just be impossible to track down and all of that stuff. Mm. Um, you know, it's a pretty rare guitar. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, man, I, um, I hope it finds its way back to you. And um, yeah, if anyone out there has any information, please, 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 let's give the story a happy ending. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. No problem.